Hello. You there? Hello. Hi. Hello, it's uh, Georgia you... here from Thunder Mother. Hi. <laughs> you sound much better. Yeah, I'm pretty much stuck in a train somewhere in Stockholm. Oh. So okay. she just called so me like, this? please. Do this. <laughs> so who's this? Uh, this is uh, Georgia, the other guitarist in uh, Thunder Mother. Oh, okay, okay, cool, very cool. All right, so um, I, I, the new album's coming out next Friday. I mean, you guys have to be beyond excited. Yeah, we're really stoked. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> does like the whole anticipation now does it kind of get like nerve wracking though because you just want it out and for everybody to hear it uh, sorry can you repeat does it get frustrating for you because uh, you're waiting for the new album to come out and everybody to hear it and you just want the album out now oh yeah actually it's been a long waiting because the album was ready in June but oh. luckily it was summer, so we had uh, time to enjoy our vacation. And, uh, yeah, so the t- time flies, actually. But, uh, of <laughs> course, it's been, uh, we want to, as soon as it was done, we will really want to have it out. And uh, so we so we played for our friends. But it's not the same, you know? Right, right. So, oh, no frustration. Boy. Just good thing. Good vibes. Now, did you guys do a, a lot of touring over the summer? Or you're, you're waiting for the album? You know, we've been uh, playing a lot of festivals in um, Sweden. So every okay. weekend we were out playing uh, uh, big festivals with really big bands. So it was uh, uh, it was not touring, but uh, it was a really good uh, way to spend the summer. <laughs> <laughs> now, has, has the, the sound of Thunder Mother, has anybody ever told you guys that you sound like if ACDC... And Lemmy from Motorhead had love children, and they were all girls. <laughs> it would be you. Yeah, actually, something similar. Like this sounds uh, really good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I like. It. Yeah, good bands, really amazing to be compared to this uh, great uh, band. Yeah, yeah. Now, did you have you guys played shows with Motorhead? I think I saw. Uh, actually, we were supposed to open for Mohorat in uh, 2013, this uh, big uh, festival called the Metal Town in Gothenburg, Sweden. Um, okay. But I think it was because Lemmy's health was not so okay, so they had to cancel oh, yeah. that show. Uh, so, oh, but uh, they were a clutch instead, so it was <laughs> kind of cool anyway. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. No. You guys have a lot of fans who are people that I'm sure you guys might have been fans of, like uh, Zach Wilde and Danko Jones, uh, Airborne, and they all praise you guys. Does it does it kind of like shock you? Oh yeah, actually it was a, a great surprise, and uh, you know we love this band. Some of us uh, have been influenced from the youth, so. To gain this respect and uh, admiration was something that uh, was really stellar. Uh, but actually, I would think that we deserve it because, you know, we work so hard and we are very, um, we, we, yeah, we've been listening a lot and uh, playing a lot. So it's uh, amazing to have this respect for this band. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah. great. Great feeling. I'm, I'm sure. Not, now, how how long have you guys been together for? Uh, with this lineup, uh, it's uh, three years. So me and Philippa okay. we met. Uh, yeah, me and Philippa we met in 2011. She was looking for members. I'm Italian, so I, I moved uh, to Stockholm, uh, and then I met immediately Philippa, uh, the other guitarist, the uh, founder of the band. And then uh, we went through different uh, uh, change of lineup till we okay. finally found uh, uh, the singer. She, we found her on YouTube, actually, <laughs> from really? Ireland. Yes, she's Irish, and she moved like me just to follow the dream, you know, to be a rock star. <laughs> yeah, and wow. uh, the rest of the girls, the rest of the girls, they're Swedish, and they were um, friends. 
Philippa's friend since the uh, um, school. So okay. yeah, we, we we put up the band in uh, with this lineup in uh, um, in one month actually because um, uh, Metal Town, this festival I told you before, um, um, with the support in for uh, we got this uh, uh, gig and then uh, we had the broke up with the lineup. So when we had oh. to look for members, we only had three weeks to find oh. everyone. So we we haven't rehearsed. We just met the singer the day before go on that uh, huge stage. <laughs> so that was our oh. debut, debut. Yeah, that was in 2014. So yeah, we uh, this lineup uh, is the yeah it's the final one, and we're together since three years. Wow. Now it, it, were you? <laughs> on YouTube looking for the singer or you just happen to come across her? No, we were desperately looking for a singer. <laughs> when uh, we got the gig, <laughs> we were like, okay, in one month we have to open for Mohorad. Uh, but we we had this uh, broke up with the other lineup. So it was only me and Filippa. So she just Googled on, um, she wants this uh, girl with the uh, ACDC voice. So she just Googled it on YouTube uh, ACDC uh, uh, vocal, I don't remember, but then uh, she she stopped uh, Claire Cunningham uh, with her uh, solo project doing covers, and then she was like, "This is the best voice I ever heard. We need to get her." And then we start to bomb her with the uh, with the uh, <laughs> mails. Please join this band. <laughs> and she uh, at first she was like, "What? What is?" Girl from Sweden, uh, what she wants me to play in this band? No, oh, I have my job here. She was living in Cardiff, and then uh, and then when we when Filippa told her, okay, but just so you know, we're gonna open for Mozart in one month. Then she was like, okay, maybe I <laughs> will think about it. <laughs> yeah, and then she joined us, and now she moved here finally. I was gonna say she must have thought you guys were crazy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She couldn't believe that. So what? She was like, "What? What this uh, uh, Swedish band want from me?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was wow. magic. Uh, it's just chemistry with her. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> that is a great story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. So the new album is actually called uh, "Road Fever." So what does uh, what does the road fever mean? Like being out on the road on tour? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it's uh, you know. It's, uh, it's about uh, rock and roll lifestyle with um, happy moments and also the struggle to play rock and roll because, uh, for example, we are, every one of us has a daily job and then we have to sacrifice a lot of time and then uh, to be able to be on the road. So yeah. it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, about uh, you know, rock and roll li- uh, the rock and roll lifestyle with uh, uh, all uh, that it takes um, and uh, yeah, of course, uh, living on the road, uh, um, sharing life, uh, party, a lot of uh, all these cliches. <laughs> does does it shock people? I, I mean, you just shocked me. I mean, uh, I look at you guys and I'm like, this band is a killer blow away rock and roll band, and you just told me you guys work day jobs. <laughs> so do so, 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 like, people? Yeah, that, do people like your your work? Do are they like kind of shocked? Like here you are one minute on these big stages or out on the road, and the next minute you're you're working. <laughs> yeah, actually that's the truth. You know, unless you are Motorhead or ACDC, you can't live uh, nowadays. You can live uh, on your music. So difficult. And um, so yeah, we have daily job. I'm a graphic designer. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, so right now. Well, now is the deadline of the magazine. I work for a Swedish metal magazine. Okay. So right now I'm dealing with article about uh, dark tranquility and uh, Swedish death metal bands. <laughs> I kind of oh, wow. love it because I can. And when I'm touring, I always have my laptop with me, so I, I'm working. Uh, right, right. Yeah, uh, they are the wow. girls. Uh, they have um, um, like Linda, the bass player. She's a uh, personal assistant, she works with uh, um, people, uh, and then, uh, of course, every time we have to do, we have to take so many days off, and uh, we risk to get fired, <laughs> so wow. it's, uh, yeah, we are very hard-working uh, girls. 
Now, yeah, have, so we have, have you a- done it? Have you designed like the artwork for the album? Was that you or? Yeah, yeah, it's me, and also the merch. All the merch we have, I the logo and uh, yeah, and also the not the cover actually. The cover is an illustration by the, uh, our friend uh, uh, Yen did this uh, illustration, but the inside oh. uh, uh, it's the layout I did. Yeah. Huh. That's awesome. That's great work. Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, all right. So the album, like I said, come out uh, next Friday, and this is your your second album, correct? Yes. Cool. Now, when you guys are out on the road, I, I one thing that I saw a lot mentioned from you guys is, uh, and you're kind of like self proclaim yourselves the rock and roll disasters. <laughs> <laughs> It's like are you you guys are just proud to be part of rock and roll. It sounds like. Mm. Yeah, sorry, I didn't understand the question. I can't uh, uh, hear I, you I was, really, really low. You, you guys are very proud to be part of the the rock and roll scene. Yes, 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 yes. We love rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> now. How about for like an all girl band on the road? I, do you, you guys must get like male groupies? <laughs> oh, no, no, uh, actually no, no. But only once happened that they throw on stage some panties. That was the only, <laughs> <laughs> the only time that something weird happened. But actually, I think our guys are like, uh, yeah, guys are maybe intimidate when they see us. Uh, because we are rockers, we play rock and roll, and then uh, maybe we look very tough, so they get m- very shy. So um, it's uh, wow. common that uh, we, they come to us after the show and want pictures, autographs, but they never hit on us. Like, they never try to flirt or... Uh, I think because we... I, I don't know, maybe we have this uh, image of the strong women, but we are really normal girls, you know. So it's uh, no. So I'm I'm happy. Luckily, with no uh, um, pressure or uh, like uh, right. when we are in our dressing room, nobody comes to disturb us. It's not like a long right. line like the group is in the 80s. No. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I'm shocked. I'm sorry, I destroyed the myth. <laughs> yeah, I'm shocked. I'm I'm like, oh my lord. Wow. I mean, you, you guys, like the rock and roll dream, a, a, a bunch of rocking girls, good-looking, hot rocking girls, and it's you guys. And you kick ass. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so nice. so uh, I, I guess you guys are going to be on the road now for the rest of the year? Uh, yes, actually. We are going to uh, embark on our first European tour on next Monday. Uh, in two weeks, sorry. Um, and then when we come back, we go for uh, a Spanish tour, and then oh, wow, okay. we're. Uh, then I think we take a break for uh, December. I think yes, yes. Uh, we, we're uh, we're home, and then we hope uh, from the next year to to go in the states. That's uh, like a dream. States, Australia, Asia. Really hope that uh, it will happen soon. What do what do we need to do here in the states to get you guys here? What? <laughs> uh, well, first, um, um, people need to listen to Road Fever, and so yeah, with, um, um, create a, a hype, a buzz around. Right. So if you can please. Uh, if you can please uh, play our songs, uh, that would be great. <laughs> that would I be do, really I'll tell you great. what. I I I I do two shows for our network, and the one show is just interviews, and then I do another show that's just music. And last week, yeah. you guys were my featured fa- female rockers of the week. I love you guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, so that's yeah, so I'm nice. gonna I'm gonna definitely keep playing you guys. I want to see you guys come here to the states. Bad. Yes, please help us. <laughs> I can't <laughs> wait, really. What's so wrong I, with this radio? What's that? 
Where is uh, where is from this uh, this radio you're? Uh, I, I'm from Philadelphia. 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 Okay. How yeah. cool. Yeah. I dream. Now, are you from Are you from Italy? <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, can you tell my accent? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I'm Italian too. So I have to ask you this. Really. Yes. My my full name is Basso Ragni. Okay. Uh, now, my grandparents came over here from Italy. Um, okay. We grew up in Philadelphia, and they, uh, you know, they would call our macaroni what they put on top of the macaroni. Do you guys call it sauce, or do you call it gravy? Gravy. Ooh. Never, I never heard about this gravy. You never heard uh, gravy? Gravy. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. No, it's an Italian word. That's what my grandmother used to call it. It was gravy. Gravy. It's made with parmesan. Parmigiano. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yes. Gravy. That's uh, really strange. You know, we, we say salsa. Salsa, uh, yeah. It means sauce. Sauce. But gravy, I never heard it before. Where is your uh, grandma, mother? It, she's from South Italy. Yes. Aha, uh-huh. yeah. I'm from the uh, very north Italy, so we have different, uh, la- um, almost different languages. <laughs> wow. So maybe it's a dialect uh, word. Ah, that's interesting. I have to check it out. Yeah, yeah. I, I, everybody that I interview that's Italian, I ask them. And, and probably 90% of the time, they do say sauce. Salsa, gravy, G, uh, G-R-E-V-I. G R A V Y. Gravy. No, I never heard. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, I mean, she would make it with the with the meatballs and sausage and brajol. Okay, yeah, brajol. Yes. Yeah, all, uh-huh. all the meats. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, with recipe from uh, yeah from her uh, hometown. Yeah. Do you, do you understand Italian a bit? No, I don't, which which is horrible. Okay. <laughs> no, I was so scared actually to take this interview because I, you know, I started to talk, you know, Italian. Maybe you don't know, but Italian doesn't speak English, <laughs> just a bit, a little, right. little bit. So when I moved here in Sweden five years ago, I didn't speak much uh, uh, English. So I learned it here. And still now when I watch movies, I have, I have to have uh, subtitles because I can't get everything. So I told Philippa, please, Philippa, don't make me do interviews from the state because I'm afraid I won't understand, but I'm so happy I can understand you. <laughs> yeah, you do, no, you do good. You're doing real good. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, I, I get nervous, too. Like, uh, I've interviewed quite a few bands from, from Sweden, and uh, yeah, I get nervous if they're going to understand or not. Uh-huh, no, no, you're a really great uh, pronunciation. And... <laughs> oh, thank you. Great. <laughs> no okay. So where can um where can everybody find the band online and where can everybody buy the album next week? Where? Yes. Uh, in, you mean uh, uh, I think in the in the stores, of course. Now, did you ask me where they people can find the? Uh... Yeah, well, so well, can they buy it? Can they buy it online? The album? Ah, uh-huh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, iTunes. Uh, um, and then uh, I think all the platforms for um, I don't remember now, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, yes. And then in the stores, of course, we also have a vinyl edition because we are very oh. into vinyls. Yes. Very good. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> very very good. I'm I, ooh, I'm going to get a vinyl. If I get a vinyl, I want you guys to sign it for me. Absolute. <laughs> As, uh, yeah, absolutely. Very good. Oh, when we come well, to Philadelphia. <laughs> exactly, and, and I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna have you eat gravy. Yeah, exactly. I want to try that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, I can't wait for the album officially to be released. I already have my copy because I'm special. Wow. And I love it. Right. And I'll be playing. What What song should I play for everybody to hear? What song you want me to play? Mm, 
Uh, I suggest the, if the people doesn't know how, uh, I suggest uh, uh, it's just a taste, the first uh, single. Sure, I can do that. I have cool. no problem at all doing that. How about you know what? Pick two. I'll play. I'll play two. All right. What other one would you like to hear? Oh, the second maybe the second single. It's uh, called a deal with the devil. Gotcha. Cool. I'll play both Great. of those for you. And I want thank to thank you. you so much. Can I get you to cut an ID for me before you go? Can you just yeah. say that this is this is uh, Georgia from uh, Thunder Mother, and you're listening mm-hmm. to Totally Driven Radio. Uh, say again the name of the radio. Totally Driven Radio. To the. <laughs> I have to write it down. Totally. Okay, can you write it? I don't yes. know if, uh, uh, totally driven. Yeah. E R I V E N. Radio. Riven. R I V E N. No, no. Driven. <laughs> like, like drive a car. Driven. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry. Driven. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's try. But can you cut me, cut uh, if it's not okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I do it again? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Ah, okay. Uh, now? Yep, go for it. Okay. Hello, this is Georgia from Thunder Mother, and you're listening to Totally Driven Radio. Perfect. Thank okay. you so much, Georgia. And I can't wait. I, I'm, I expect to see you guys in 2016 in Philadelphia. Oh, really? What's your name again? Sorry. My name is Bay. B A Y. Okay, Peg. Thank you so much for this interview. Really nice to talk with you. Thank you. Or you can call me Basso since uh, we're both Italian. Basso. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. But take care and see you in Philadelphia. <laughs> Absolutely. Bye-bye.